transmit signals between different parts of the body. It is essentially the body's electrical wiring. Structurally, the nervous system has two components, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The brain and spinal cord together form the central nervous system. The central nervous system acts as a control center of the body by providing its processing, memory, and regulation systems. The central nervous system takes in all the conscious and subconscious sensory information from the body's sensory receptors to stay aware of the body's internal and external conditions. Using this sensory information, it makes decisions about both conscious and subconscious actions to take to maintain the body's homeostasis and ensure its survival. The central nervous system is also responsible for the higher functions of the nervous system, such as language, creativity, expressions, emotions, and personality. The brain is divided into the cerebrum, the cerebral cortex, cerebellum, and medulla. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It is a center for thought and intelligence, and it is divided into the right and left hemispheres. The right controls movement and activities on the left side of the body, and the left controls the right side of the body. Within the cerebrum are areas for speech, hearing, smell, sight, memory, learning, motor, and sensory areas. The cerebral cortex is the outside of the cerebrum. Its function is learning, reasoning, language, and memory. The cerebellum lies below the cerebrum at the back of the skull. Its functions are to control voluntary muscles, balance, and muscle tone. The medulla controls heart rate, breathing, swallowing, coughing, and vomiting. Together with the pons and the midbrain, the medulla forms the brain stem that connects the cerebrum to the spinal cord. The spinal cord acts as a message pathway between the brain and the rest of the body. Nerves conveying impulses from the brain, otherwise known as efferent or motor nerves, travel through the spinal cord down to the various organs of the body. When the impulses reach the appropriate level, they leave the cord to travel to the target organ. Sensory or afferent nerve impulses also use the spinal cord to travel from various parts of the body up to the brain. The peripheral nervous system includes all the parts of the nervous system outside of the brain and spinal cord. These parts include all of the cranial and spinal nerves, ganglia, and sensory receptors. The automatic nervous system, which controls the automatic functions of the body, such as the heart, smooth muscle, and glands, is divided into the fight or flight system and the resting and digestion system. The somatic nervous system allows us to consciously or voluntarily control our skeletal muscles. The somatic system contains 12 cranial nerves and 31 spinal nerves. Nerves are made up of special cells called neurons. Neurons are comprised of a dendrite, a cell body, and an axon. Impulses travel to the dendrite into the cell body and then onto the axon. A special sheath called myelin, which increases the conductivity of the neuron, covers some nerves. The nervous system has three main functions, sensory, integration, and motor. The sensory function of the nervous system involves collecting information from sensory receptors that monitor the body's internal and external conditions. These signals are then passed to, onto the nervous system for further processing by afferent neurons. The process of integration is the process of the many sensory signals that are passed into the central nervous system at any given time. These signals are evaluated, compared, used for decision making, discarded, or committed to the memory as deemed appropriate. Integration takes place in the gray matter of the brain and spinal cord and is performed by interneurons. Many interneurons work together to form complex networks to provide this processing power. Once the networks of interneurons in the central nervous system evaluate sensory information and decide on an action, they stimulate efferent neurons. Efferent neurons carry signals from the gray matter of the central nervous system through the nerves of the peripheral nervous system to effector cells. The effector may be smooth, cardiac, or skeletal muscle tissue or glandular tissue. The effector then releases a hormone or moves a part of the body to respond to the stimulus.